There's been other research that's been done to prove this, even in more subtle areas. Take one area known as service, helping people, helping institutions around you, helping the planet, you know, improving how we as communities live. And as people dedicate themselves to serving not only themselves, but the communities in which they live, the institutions in which they belong to, and the environment, the planet on which we, we all have to cooperate and grow from, it actually turns out it boosts the immune function. It's very, very exciting to know that things that we can actually integrate into our life on a daily basis have a direct connection with our immune process, our mental states, and the relationships that we have with one another. There was a researcher known as Dr. Candace Pert who was working in Washington, D.C. many years ago, and she coined the phrase, the molecules of emotion. And what she discovered was that there's actually neuropeptides released every time that we smile, every time that we frown, every time that we're excited about something, and every time that we're feeling depressed. That there's chemical receptor sites on every organ of the body that receive these chemicals, these neurotransmitters that go through our system, and they can either boost our immune function, make our, vital, our organs more vital, our life more alive, our immune system more dynamic, or can depress those things. And these molecules of emotion are directly under our control. They have to do with how we interact with the world. And the most beautiful aspect of health enhancement is that it gives us our power back. We're no longer the victim of our environments. We're no longer the victim of our interactions with the world around us. We are in the control seat. We can determine how we react to the changes in our lives, whether it's through previously very distressing situations or whether it's to joyful situations. We're activating an inner pharmacy that all of us have within ourselves. And the health enhancement techniques are all designed to boost that inner pharmacy's release of chemicals, neuropeptides, neurotransmitters that will actually allow us to live in greater harmony both uh, with those we're in relationship with, the world around us, and obviously within ourselves. Cultivating a joyful state often referred to as pronoia. Pronoia is the opposite of paranoia. We're all familiar with the term paranoia, the whole world's out to get me. Pronoia is this beautiful state of a conspiracy of joy. The whole world is conspiring, even during difficult times, to take me to a higher state of awareness, a higher state of joy, even if it's testing me. And by activating this health enhancement component in your life, we're ushering in a whole new way of living that's pronoic. It's not fearful. It's not based on doubt. It's based on feeling I'm the master of my own destiny. Even when a disease process comes into my life, I have choices of how I deal with that. I am not a victim of a disease. I'm not a victim of circumstance. I am an architect of what I can do, the art of the possible. So just to conclude on this topic of health enhancement, the key features are how we live, not how long we live. The quality of our lives, not necessarily that we're in perfect health all the time regarding the disease process. Many of us have diseases in our daily lives, but we're still leading productive, energetic, alive lives. So health is not about the absence of disease. Health is much more than that. Health is about our bodies and our minds, our spirits, our community, and our environment. And even the World Health Organization defines it in a much broader context than this disease process. And the hope of this message of health enhancement is that we all begin to look at health in a very, very different way. Not with what's wrong with us, but what's right with us.